Hey guys, it's Les from TheBalancedBerry.com and today I'm going to show you how to make your own matcha latte two different ways. Um, so the first way we're going to do it is going to be a little bit more traditional. It's where we're going to use a bamboo matcha whisk. Alright, so I'm going to measure out about a teaspoon of matcha into my little dish here. And then I'm just going to get some hot water. Put just a couple of tablespoons of boiling hot water into my matcha dish. You don't need very much, just enough to dissolve the matcha. So using my little bamboo whisk, I'm just going to make motions up and down until all of the tea is dissolved and it makes a paste. You're then going to add it to a glass of almond milk. So I'm going to do kind of an iced matcha latte here. I'm not going to do it hot. If you wanted to do it hot, you could totally do that too. You could just heat up some almond milk, maybe on the stove or in the microwave, and have it hot for this step. Um, or you can heat it all up after the fact, kind of whichever you want. So now that I have my almond milk, I'm just going to pour my matcha mixture into it. And this is kind of the fun part because it has a really cool swirl as the almond milk and the matcha start to come together. And there you go. That's the first way that we made our matcha latte. Okay, so now we're going to go to our second version of our matcha tea latte, and I like to call this the lazy girl matcha latte um, because it doesn't require any fancy equipment. If you don't have a bamboo whisk at home, you can still totally do it. All you need is a mason jar with a lid. All right, so just like last time, we're going to start off with our matcha. So I'm going to measure just a teaspoon of matcha powder into my mason jar. Then I'm going to get a couple more tablespoons of hot water just so it can start to dissolve. All right, I got my hot water, and as you can see in our mason jar, it's already starting to dissolve a bit. Now all we're going to do is add our almond milk directly to the jar. So I'm just going to add about a cup of almond milk. You can eyeball it. Then I'm just going to take my lid, tighten it up, and then shake it until it's all dissolved. Shake it like a Polaroid picture. Well, for either of these, you can sweeten it however you like. If you like honey, if you like stevia, or maybe a little bit of coconut sugar, or you can drink it as is if you don't like things very sweet. Um, it's completely customizable. And that's it. I feel like it got really awkward at the end. I started what? running out of things to say. When? You want me like, to stop it? Uh, yeah. Why don't you do some? Why don't you show us how to make a matcha tea? <laughs> I'm getting into character. I'm sorry. So today I'm going to show you how to make matcha tea from home. <laughs> you can do this anywhere on the on the road, in your own kitchen, at the workplace, whatever you decide, this matcha travels well. I don't, know. I don't, I don't even know what matcha tea is. It's green, right? That's all I got. It's yeah. green. Yeah. 